fortune, and well done to the captain for getting his feet under the table. I do not see what the furniture has to do with it. This morning I went for a walk with Reet and showed her many interesting examples of the ironwork to be found in the city. She said it was very interesting. She said I was quite different to anyone she's ever met. Your loving son, Carrot. P.S. I hope Minty is keeping well. He folded the paper carefully and shoved it into the envelope. Sun's going down. I'll have to do that again. Sun's going down, said Sergeant Colon. Carrot looked up from his sealing wax. That means it'll be night soon, Colon went on accurately. Yes, Sergeant. Colon ran a finger round his collar. His skin was impressively pink, the result of a morning scrubbing, but people were still staying at a respectful distance. Some people are born to command, some people achieve command, and others have command thrust upon them. And the sergeant was now included in this factory and wasn't very happy about it. Any minute now, he knew he was going to have to say that it was time they went out on patrol. He didn't want to go out on patrol. He wanted to find a nice sub-basement somewhere. But noblesse oblige destroyed. If he was in charge, he had to do it. It wasn't the loneliness of command that was bothering him. It was the being fried alive of command that was giving him. He was also pretty sure that unless they came up with something about this dragon very soon, then the patrician was going to be unhappy. And when the patrician was unhappy, he became very democratic. He found intricate and painful ways.